Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. She's a work in progress. She doesn't know it all yet. So for today's YouTube video, I'm... <sighs> it's been a minute. I haven't uploaded in a month and I honestly feel like for the past year my uploading has been inconsistent. We all know this. I've just not been prioritizing my time correctly in a lot of areas of my life and I feel like I say that every single time that I'm not uploading on here. But I don't see it as a bad thing. Honestly, I don't want to be on here if I don't want to be on here, so we just take it one day at a time, okay? I'm going to be doing my makeup, do a little get ready with me. I did a little slick back, a little slick back pony if you can't tell. If you're wondering where my sweater's from, it's from Shop Cider. I literally did it around Christmas time. I did a Shop Cider haul, but I haven't edited it. I literally filmed it on my phone and it was just not it and I it just kept messing with the storage and then I had to start recording it on my snapchat it was just not it and yeah that's why I really haven't been wanting to edit it but I know I'm gonna want to edit this with this nice camera shout out to me madre shout out to me madre for letting me use her camera because it got wi-fi capability and I can see the screen on my phone which is great I'm just gonna get straight into it because <laughs> There's a lot we need to talk about. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my TikTok. First, putting on this e.l.f. Hydra This e.l.f. Hydra Grip Primer. <laughs> Why I haven't been here? Let me answer that real quick because what the fuck? I've been just technologically impaired the past couple months. I broke my laptop and then I'm using this old ass laptop that has a lot of storage, but it's just old as fuck and slow, barely could even do my homework last semester. Speaking of school, we're going back next week and um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm prepared, but the classes I signed up for next semester are low key easy. I only, I only made myself go to class two days. <laughs> I was like, we need to pass this semester, all the classes. Before I get started, Dossier sent me more perfumes, so I'm just going to show you which perfumes I got from them. If you don't know, I'm always shouting out their company. I freaking love them. If you don't know what Dossier is, they are a perfume subscription service. A lot of their perfumes are based off the designer scents, but they're a fraction of the price, only $20, $30. And that's why I just love their company. And they also are doing candles now, which I'm like... Bitch, I'm going to buy those candles ASAP. I just love how clean their packaging looks. So I'm just gonna show you two of these perfumes I got today. They come in this cute ass packaging, if you can see, and they come with a scent card, how it works, the ingredients, all that, all that. I have a code, I'll be sure to put it on the screen, but make sure y'all go click the link down below. And I'll also have the links to the perfumes that I use today. I've been, they sent me these perfumes a month or two ago and I've, literally been using them out dry this other one i'll put it on the screen smells freaking amazing and i'm out i'm literally out couldn't even save it to show you guys like bitch get it together but um this one's called fruity jasmine and i've definitely talked about this one before this is one of my favorites from them mm, it just smells like fresh out the shower fruity goodness it's my favorite summer scent i know it's not summer but i always love smelling like flower petals and sunsets um on the beach okay so uh yeah i really love this one this one they sent me is it's called woody tobacco this one might be this one might be a unisex unisex type thing going on i'm not sure it does smell more like cologne i'm not gonna spray it because that shit's gonna be me, give me a headache but i love the magnetic caps and just everything about dossier like i said i'll have the links first thing down below but i really just want i just want to get into shit. i just want to get into this makeup and talk to you guys because i miss y'all so fucking much let me 
to get it together. It annoys me that I even use that as an excuse. Not even like it's an excuse. I've just always been, I've not always had like the best camera that's worked in, in a laptop. So me sitting here and being like, oh, I have a broke laptop. It's really no excuse because I've always figured out a way to make it work. But now that I'm at college, it is definitely harder because I can't use my mom's laptop. So right now we're just in this adult transitional stage and it's just, it's getting me. How have y'all been? I really miss talking to every single one of you. So please leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. If you're still in school, if you're not in school, how, how's the family? How's the kids? How's, how's the dogs and pets? How's everybody? I'm... I'm doing okay. I'm doing great with the Anastasia Beverly Hills thingamabob. We already know the drill. Um, I'm really pissed. I literally <laughs> for Christmas I got Ulta cards though. I took my big ass all the way to Ulta and I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss. It's like a lip plumping Fenty Beauty Gloss, and I left that shit at my sister's house. I left that shit at my sister's house. And, um, Lord have mercy. That's all I'm going to say. I bought, it was like a $30 gloss and I had the audacity, but she's going to bring it back. So it's fine. But sorry, everyone. I just had dinner. So, but we're back. Like what? Let's keep it a buck. Okay. <laughs> now I'm using the Maybelline. Fit me concealer. Do you plan on filming a YouTube video with with your girl? You like oh, to see you happy in the oh, oh. So I've already been in some videos, but to do like a whole video, I feel like we could do like mukbang or something. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about that? Um, possibly, maybe. I'd say possibly in the future. She's a little shy thing. Yeah, I am. You know, I gotta make sure this bitch like me for hell, you know what I mean? Keep her in my life for a little bit longer. Make sure it's solid. I mean, it is solid, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Craziest thing that ever happened to you. Craziest thing that's ever happened to me? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're using this seductive ass voice right now. What do you mean? <laughs> so basically, it was over the summer. I forgot <laughs> what I was saying. You were waiting. And um, I basically linked with this guy, and it was like kind of terrible. You know, I've seen I've seen him multiple times before, and then he told me he was gonna buy me a vape, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the first straw that I should have been like no take me back home please um we were in his vehicle and yeah we ended up going like I feel like I've already told this story on YouTube before I don't know I don't know I feel like I have <laughs> and literally this man we went to the store he gave me this stupid ass just card a random ass card and I walked my ass into the store he was like you go get it and then of course you know I'm not of age I already knew they were gonna say something um uh, it's not even crazy because I was basically asking for it at that point with how I was moving but anyways I walk out of the store and the car's gone so yeah he basically <laughs> left my ass that part's not funny. Really <laughs> yeah, literally in town, like not even in my city, actually. Like, <laughs> editing Kenzie here. I'm pretty sure I already told this story before, but yeah, basically left my ass there. I was in the store for a total of like 60 seconds. I swear to God, I don't know how the fuck it happened. There was somebody sitting in their car watching this all went down, and then I just walked out the store looking all crazy. I was like, bitch, are you serious? <laughs> I call this man. He blocked me. He blocked me on everything like Instagram, my phone. I was like, okay. I walk my happy ass to Domino's. I'll put a little video. I walk my happy ass to the Domino's right there on the corner. And thank God I have money to buy an Uber. Thank God because my parents were in work and 
Ava was, that whole situation was just, a, it was a real low. It was a real low and um, we're not proud about it. Uh, I'm just so thankful I was able to get an Uber home. But yeah, I was waiting in the Domino's parking lot. It, it was embarrassing. That shit was pretty crazy. I don't think there's been anything that's really topped that when it comes to craziness. That shit was just beyond me. Any kind of help with confidence. When it comes to confidence, you really, it's all about your mindset and just how you think about things. Everyone's thinking about themselves clearly about how other people are, you know, perceive them. So why would you care about what they think? Because nine times out of 10, they're not even thinking about you. <laughs> and if they are, well, that's their business because, yeah. But, um, I don't know. It's just really owning your shit. I mean, we only have one life to live. You know what I mean? One life to live, one body, one soul. How can we be mad at what we look like? How can we be mad? We gotta live with this body for who knows how long. We gotta live with how we act and live with how we think for how long. So how long are you gonna go about it with a negative mindset? You know, you can't do that. You really can't do that. You're just asking for failure at that point. And everything on TikTok is talking about the lucky girl syndrome and low key, I've been trying to implement that. I'm like, bitch, you're lucky. I'm a lucky person. I'm just lucky. Everything will work out. I'm this lucky bitch. Um, I don't know if it's worked out for me yet. I haven't really done the manifesting technique enough, but uh, question. Uh, how are you doing mentally? How am I doing mentally? Yeah. I'd say I'm doing pretty good mentally. I've honestly just taken a back seat to things. Um, like, you know, not like a back seat, but I'm just trying to chill in life right now. I'm really just trying to exist and yeah. Um, Cause this year is about to be full of so many adult things and I'm not gonna speak any fear into it. So I'm just not even gonna say anything actually. But um, yeah. It's just an early 20s type of thing. We're all just trying to get it together. And these dogs won't stop fucking barking. What is your New Year's resolution? I would say my New Year's resolution would be to be more organized. And I want to get a new car. I don't think that's going to happen this year, but you never know. You never know. I love Miss Susie the Subi, but... um. Yeah, I think it's time. I don't know how much, how many more miles she has on her. I'm kind of nervous about it, but she's still kicking. And I'm very proud of her for that. Yeah, that's my resolution. What are your favorite styles and trends right now? Mm. <sighs> to be honest, I haven't really been following any trends oh. right now. What, are, what would you say is a trend right now? Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> What's a trend? It's 2023. <laughs> like, I don't know. Everything's trending. <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs> I don't know. Buy high ricks. I really want those. I like that trend. I love the streetwear style. I love all that. <laughs> um, Here, pick your question. You pick your question. I want to search it up for you. Okay. I want to stop. Stop. Do you like living in Colorado? I've always been interested in moving there. Pros, cons. Um, if you don't know, I've been in Colorado for, how long has it been? Oh my god, I've been in Colorado for like 12, 13 years. 
That's fucking insane. But, um, yeah, since fourth grade, how long is that? That's a long time. Sorry, I, <laughs> I can't talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. Uh. Mm, I'd say Colorado is a hit or miss. I think Denver's fun, but honestly at this point, I just want to see what else the world has to offer. I think Colorado's beautiful. The weather probably took me a year or two to adapt to. <laughs> like, I mean, I was young when I got here, so it really didn't like affect me as much. I didn't really understand what was going on. I kind of just had to move here, so it wasn't like that, but there's definitely a lot of outdoorsy things to do, clearly, here by the mountains and such, and I definitely think it would be fun to live here maybe for a year or two. Um, but for longer than that, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would stay here but as you can see I've been here this whole time so not like it was my choice but anyways whatever pros I'd say beautiful scenery cons the weather the snow the driving the people people here are weird um people are weird and everywhere but yeah, people are pretty weird here. Um, pretty mean. But it's all about how you look at things, because not every person is mean here. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. What kind of content are you planning to make into the video? Basically, I'm trying to transition all my content. I'm trying to find exactly what I want to do because I feel like I've more been combining like lifestyle and makeup and vlogging and just a lot of different things. Like, I tried doing the conspiracy theories like I think it was like five years ago and I really did like preparing for those videos and I feel like that was fun. I feel like I, I would get into it again. So let me know if y'all would be interested in me posting like conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I've been wanting to do a podcast. So we'll see if that'll get done this year. But um, I'm very much a procrastinator. Um, I just want to go back to my roots and honestly start uploading just random shit. I feel like once I started gaining a following... I really just put pressure on myself to post more aesthetically pleasing type things or just not actually what my life is like, which is the complete opposite of what my channel is supposed to be and what a lot of people are trying to be with their channel. <laughs> but yeah, I literally just used to film whatever and it would do great. And now I'm just over here stressing about the quality and how I'm saying things and da da da. But I just need to, I just need to, I just need to get off that. Seriously. I also have so many videos of me and my girlfriend from like when we first started hanging out and even until now we would do just like random vlogs in the car when we were smoking or milk bongs and I never even like touched the footage. We just had to have sitting in our camera roll. And that's some of the videos that was in my intro of this one. So let me know if I should do like a compilation. I have like, there's like nine or 10, like 20 minute videos that are just sitting. So if you wanna see a compilation of that, I think it would be very interesting to see like our growth and like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, they're so cute. I can't, like when I look back on them, I'm like, oh, they're just so adorable. And shout out to her because she was the one, the first, like the first two or three times she was like let's vlog and she just put her phone up on my tripod and i was like okay and now looking back on it i'm like that's so adorable so let me know if you guys would want to see a compilation of those videos i think that'd be 
really funny. <laughs> kind of gotten used to it since I've been here for so long, but over time, I'm like, what the fuck? Like when I went to Miami, my skin got clear so fast and it was moist. Damn near, my skin was just dewy and glowing and doing all types of great things. But in Colorado, my skin is thirsty. My skin is screaming for help here. Here's I've kind of just been like rolling along with not having a job. If you don't know, I have had a job. I'm 20 years old. And the last thing I, I want to do is honestly get a job. But um, I've come to the point where a little extra money might be helpful. You know, when it comes to me avoiding my bills and such. Not even that. I don't even have that many bills. I literally just have, like, some credit cards. But, like, bitch. How are the eyebrows looking? But, yeah. Because the past two years, like, ever since I got out of high school, I found me using, you know, this as my main source of money. And then I find myself literally just, like, oh, my God, I need to get this out. So that I can make money, which I don't really want that to be, I don't know. I don't want it to be like that right now because then, then you can tell like whenever I'm making a video and I'm just making it to get some money, like, bitch, that's not, that's not really what I want my channel to be. That shit is boring. And so I'm planning, I don't even know where I want to work, whether it's like at the mall or at Ulta or I don't know but hopefully somebody will hire me i don't know but since my like course load isn't too bad and i'm like i could get something and i'm also looking to move off campus and everything so your girl's gonna have rent and all that and uh that's just sickening Aww. And now the camera's about to die, so that's fantastic. Honestly, one of my favorite things. I'm just using the Maybelline Let's City Concealer to conceal, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I remember one of the questions. One of them was like, um, have you ever felt like like any ex different experience being like plus size and in the club or in the party scene at parties in general i really like at clubs haven't like felt any weirdness i'm always just when i go into places i really just don't give a fuck what nobody be thinking and that's really just what you have to go into it and that's easier said than done but this is just always like how i've been I don't even know how to fucking describe it. Others, there's a, when you feel bad about yourself, how do you bring yourself up again? Ooh. Really, what helps me bring myself back up is just doing my makeup. I love doing my makeup so much. It just makes me feel put together, putting on a cute outfit, whether I'm doing nothing or go treat myself, go eat dinner somewhere. But most of the time, when I'm feeling bad about myself, bitch, that's when I'm broke. So I'll be in the house, you know, do a little face mask, watch a movie, take some deep breaths, cry a little bit. That normally helps <laughs> makes me feel a little better about myself. But um, yeah, oh my God. I can't believe the fucking camera's gonna die. That's ridiculous. Isn't that called like a thumbnail? Mm -hmm. hey. Do you want to be in the thumbnail? <laughs> My mom's camera died. So I had to get another battery and I really didn't feel like getting another battery and then recording the rest of my makeup. I'm just, I can't do my makeup and talk like I used to. I don't know why I can't multitask like that anymore. But anyways, I finished my makeup and yeah, just very basic beat. You already know. You know, I thought I would just give a formal introduction to this new person in my life. <laughs> 
Am I her? Uh, it's yeah, me. it's her. The one and only. The one and only. Here's the one that turned the Woodco off to get her flowers and breakfast <laughs> and a balloon. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've been going live together on TikTok for a while, and y'all just, I thought I would give a proper introduction on YouTube, but basically, I've known this girl for a while, since my freshman year, and we just decided, you know, to start talking, and we finally just made it more official, like, into the new year, but we've basically been dating for a couple months, so, yeah, like. Four or five, five months, yeah. Miss AirPods. I'm looking at everything right there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, we met just like at a party. Everyone always asks how we met, and we were more just like party friends. And then dance partners. Yeah, <laughs> we were dance, dance partners. partners. And then around when I quit the dance team we started talking and yeah she's just been she's just been here with me and it's just been really good it's very new we both haven't been in like a relationship and me I've never been with a girl I've never been with a girl me neither yeah <laughs> Yeah, I just had this feeling like in the back of my head ever since I met, met ever since we met that you know something something was gonna kick <clears throat> off and here we are I never thought I'd be introducing someone here on my platform as a loved one that's not related to me but uh, here we are here we are she's just so gorgeous I just yeah stop yeah she's 23 I'm 20 um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know what to say. I just feel like I'm just in this period of my life, going back to me not posting or anything, where I just want my life to be like more of a private kind of a thing. And like YouTube is very much not private at all, especially whenever your YouTube is based around you. And that's why I'm kind of wanting to more transition to a different kind of content or just doing more different types of content than just everything about me because that shit can get really overwhelming and draining after a while and yeah I don't really know what this means for my YouTube channel going forward but god because sometimes I'll, I'll be thinking I'm like do I want to quit but like I really don't want to quit YouTube but sometimes my motivation just really isn't there at all so that's why I'm just like going back and forth but I don't I mean it's social media I don't think I need to blatantly be like oh I'm quitting YouTube like I'm gonna post here whenever I want to post and do you think younger you is happy with where you're at right now I feel it I feel like younger me would definitely be happy with where I'm at right now like me just going into college and then being on a dance team and being successful thus far except for this year and a little bit of last year I wasn't really thriving academically I'm still not doing like bad in school but like I'm just I'm not I don't know I don't know but uh, mentally I'm definitely doing much better Taurus I'm a Gemini you know it just works I don't really look too much into that I know someone in the comments might ask what zodiac sign she is so since she doesn't want to introduce herself I'm doing all the introducing, but she's a little well, shy thing. Ask me some questions. What's your ask? Um, where are you from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I'm from Pennsylvania too. <laughs> I moved here. So in high year. Yeah, high school. Of high school. Mm -hmm. She came here in high school. And uh, she goes to the same college I go to, and... Last resort. <laughs> <laughs> I was but really I excited have, to go. I wouldn't have met the people I know now, so... Exactly. That's how you have to go into it. Now that I'm, like, I've experienced the college, would I have gone to another one? Maybe. But now that it's, you know... These past two years have went by. I, I wouldn't regret anything. I've met some pretty, met some pretty weird people. 
but it's been a it's been a pretty good time. Just been together literally since she first came over. September. Yeah, we've been together like every single day. And then for New Year's, I didn't vlog or anything. I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna put some clips of just like some videos of like what I've been up to and stuff since I've been away. But we went to Denver, went to a museum, and she's just been treating me really good. And it's just been a good old time. I've really just been gliding along. And now, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't wanna drop out of college, but also I'm just like, this shit is irritating me. That's where I'm at. I feel like that's where everyone is before they drop out, so. Shit. <laughs> it's like this much space between me and drop now. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. This much. <laughs> I think I just need to have my own home or apartment and I will thrive. I just, it's not that I don't enjoy being home, but it's just the going back and forth from like my college town to home. Like I just can't do it anymore. And now I understand like my older sister, she was on, she lived on campus. Y'all know Kylie, she lived on campus for only a year. And then she moved off. I was like, girl, you should have stayed in the dorms. But honestly, she's made it this far, you know. It's honestly better having your own space. And I just need it in this point in my life. So that's what we hoping for out 2023. And yeah. Yeah. We balance each other. Yeah, I think we balance each other out a lot. Mm -hmm. I think we're good for each other. I wish you could focus it on here. Oh, you fucking can. That's fucking. Bye. Yeah. See She's you. done for now. Oh, yeah. Yep. I saw it. Yeah, so I got her these roses. Get into it, bitch. Get into it. These roses, I'm actually going to talk about them because I got another one. Um, these roses actually last a whole year and it has a little jewelry thing. It's fine. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of this video. I hope I got some good shit in here. I don't know if I'm going to record on my mom's camera again because I don't know. But I'm going to be back at college soon so I can start posting more videos. It's just, she's been a whirlwind and it's a new year. I can't believe it's 2023. This shit is just not making sense. I'm turning 21 this year, bitch. 21. So. Can you do something for me? <laughs> Y'all are ready this year. This year is about to be so fun. Um, I don't really have any like exact travel plans, but I definitely, when I do something for my birthday, I'm trying to go somewhere like every month of summer. Low key. That's gonna be it for this video. Just a little update, introducing my new boo, just a little. Um, but that's gonna be everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't do all my makeup. It just, it just didn't work. My, the camera, I did, I'm sorry. But I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm definitely more active on my TikTok. You already know this. That'll be it for me. I love you guys so much. Please leave me a comment. I'm gonna respond to all y'all comments in this video because I just need to start responding to comments. There's no reason. I don't even get that many. So I love you guys so much and peace out, girls down.